Happy Friday, Dos Pueblos. Here we are again with your campus news. Today is the 101010 10 screenwriting competition deadline. Submit your 10 page sample to Mr. Dent in T3. It's time to start thinking about the Australian exchange students. This year we will have 44. Tune in later and we'll have more on how to become a host family. If you know you're interested for sure, let Ms. Beckstead know in room H17. I'm sure going to look into being a host family. In other news, DECA is a club for aspiring leaders and entrepreneurs. They compete in competitions on local and national levels and are the only chapter in the middle of California. The closest chapter to our DECA club is Los Angeles. Let's talk about DECA. It's an international network of more than 200,000 high school and college members that prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management. DECA's exciting learning programs integrate into classroom instruction, apply learning, connect to business, and promote competition. Contact your local school to learn how you can support your DECA chapter in preparing emerging leaders and entrepreneurs. Today, at lunch, the chess club will be meeting in H5 and the Good Humor Club in H31. After 6 period until 4 p.m., the Future Scientists and Engineers of America Club will be meeting in S2. Sign up lists for the DP Theater Company Haunted House are up to date in the hallway of the PAC. Until October 8th, there will be a meeting next Wednesday the 9th once the cast list is announced. The results for Freshman Historian are in. The winner is Ishel Vera Botello. Congrats, Ishel. I hope you seniors are turning in those magazines. The last day to drop off them will be next Thursday, October 10th before school and at lunch in the EPAC. Here's our on-site reporter, Alex Mackey, with an update. Hey everybody, I'm Alex. <coughs> with your magazine report. So today was originally our final turn in day, but due to lack in the selling of the magazines, we've been giving an extra week to turn them in. So that means that next week, on Tuesday and Thursday, are our last turn in days. So bring them in either Tuesday and Thursday, and that's it. Uh, we've already, we're only a quarter of the way there, so we need to keep on trying to sell those magazines and get them in as quickly as possible. Uh, Julia for eBay turned in 20 sub subscriptions this morning. Good job, Julia. Here's a new top five classes list for you. Keep selling those magazines, seniors. The profits will help make your senior year unforgettable. Also today, there will be another event in the Greek. Here's Colleen and Robert with more on that. DP. Aloha, DP. How are you today? But you're doing good. Oh, but, we're doing good. But you can do better. Much better. Like today at lunch, you can join us in the Greek for another lounge day since the first day went so well. It was so good. So come join us Friday at lunch in the Greek for a lounge day. We hope to see you out there. Today we are wishing Joe Osuna a happy 17th birthday and Jordan Brusese a happy 15th. See you later, Dos Pablos. I'm Macy. And I'm Heather. Now over to sports. Hey, hey, DP, Kira here with your sports news. Our girls golf team won against Santa Barbara yesterday, making their undefeated league record 10-0. Their next match is against Buena on Tuesday at the Glen Annie Field. Girls tennis also played yesterday against Santa Barbara and lost in a tough match 4-14. They hope to rebound against the Buena Bulldogs next Tuesday here. In other news, boys water polo team beat Buena 15-6. Taylor Gustafson, Scott Mahan, and Jake Griffin had two goals, and Blake Parrish had six goals. Great game, boys. And finally, girls volleyball crushed our biggest rival, San Marcos, winning three out of three games. Their next match is Saturday against Thousand Oaks there. Good luck, ladies. This afternoon, Cross Country has a meet at the Shoreline Park, and tonight at 7, our football team faces San Juan Hills here on our field. Good luck, Chargers. Have a great weekend, DP. I'm Kira. Stay classy.